superior vena cava, correct? Mm -hmm. What are the two vessels that lead into the superior vena cava? Left and right brachiocephalic veins. Does everybody understand that? This down here is the what? Inferior, inferior vena, vena cava. Okay, and we said everything at the level of the heart or above it drains into the brachiocephalic veins, everything below the heart, and then is the superior vena cava, everything below the heart drains into the where? Inferior vena cava. Does everybody get that? Okay. So what is this vessel right here? Inferior vena cava. Okay, that's the inferior vena cava. Okay. Now, when we look at the white heart, the white heart's a little more complicated, okay? Here we have the superior vena cava, right and left brachiocephalic veins. What is this right here? Subclavian vein. This is the right subclavian. You have to differentiate also, again, right versus left. The only place where you don't have to do right versus left is when we're talking about inside the brain. That I don't care about. Everything else is right versus left. So this is the right subclavian vein. This is the right internal jugular vein, and this is the right external jugular vein. This is the left subclavian vein, okay? Left internal jugular vein and left external jugular vein. So everybody got that? Okay? Internal and external jugular vein. Internal and external, like we said, is defined really by where it's draining from. Internal part of the brain or brain itself is going to be internal. Superficial is going to be external. But what's nice about these models is that they're plastic and they're never going to change. So internal has a ten is going to be more medial and external is going to be more lateral. It doesn't always work that way in our body. Sometimes they're actually flipped. It's really about where it's coming from or where it's going to that defines the uh, artery vein. Okay. This right here we said is the uh, pulmonary artery, correct? This is the pulmonary artery right here. Now, we have this vessel right here that drains into the superior vena cava. And the name of this vessel right here is called the azygous vein. Okay, it's called the azygous vein. Where exactly do we see the azygous vein? Well, when we look at this model here, okay, when we look at this model here, this right here is the azygous vein on the right side. So this is the azygous vein. It's gonna be draining off of the right side. What drains into the azygous vein? The intercostal veins. Okay? These are actually called posterior intercostal veins. If I look at, the, if I had had the anterior side of this, which I'll get to you guys in a bit, the other side would be the anterior intercostal veins. So this is the posterior intercostal veins drain into the azygous vein. From the azygous vein, it then drains into this right here. Azygous vein drains into the where? Superior vena cava. Does everybody get that? Well, that takes care of just the right side. That doesn't necessarily take care of the left side. Here is the left side, okay? This vessel on the left side is going to be known as the hemiazygous. So on the right, it's called the what? Azygous. The left, it's called the what? Hemiazygous. What do we call these? Posterior intercostal veins. Inter meaning what? Between costal meaning what? Rib. Okay? Now, this is the... Um, Hemiazygous. Everybody see this vein right here? Vein right here? Vein right here? It's around the lumbar vertebra. So they're called lumbar veins. So the lumbar veins drain into the hemiazygous. So everybody got that? The hemiazygous, if you follow it, notice how it goes into what vein? Azygous. So it goes lumbar, hemiazygous into where? Azygous, and then into where? Superior vena cava. Okay. Above this, this area right here is known as the accessory hemiazygous. So to repeat this, we have azygous, azygous, hemiazygous, and accessory hemiazygous. All of those are going to drain into the azygous, which eventually drains into the superior vena cava. Does everybody understand that? Okay. So that takes care of those, which are a little bit more complicated internal. When we look at this model, this has posterior intercostal veins, the hemiazygous, the accessory hemiazygous, it just doesn't show you the azygous. Does everybody get that? Okay. And this again, like we said, is the inferior vena cava, correct? Okay, good. So, hit stop and re 